Leon County brings in more than $2,000 per hour to the local economy, more than the entire state of Wisconsin. I'm Kendall Brandt, your neighborhood reporter in Northeast Tallahassee. I'm finding out how one business in my neighborhood and others are working to improve our whole local economy and why they say more work still needs to be done. Eddie Gonzalez Lumier says small businesses like his are the backbone of any community. He is the CEO of Ruvos, a medical software company based in the Northeast neighborhood. He's also the chair of the Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce's Economic Competitiveness Committee. <laughs> Gonzalez Lumier and other leaders with the local and state chamber gave an update on the state of our local economy Thursday. Over the last year, Leon County has grown their job market by more than 4,000 positions. One in every 72 new jobs in Florida is in Leon County. It shows that, you know, Leon County, Tallahassee has improved. However, the data also shows we have a lot of work to do. Some of that work increasing the number of people working in our county. For every 100 jobs open in the state of Florida, only 83 people are looking for work. In Leon County, only 55 people are vying for those 100 positions. Florida Chamber of Commerce President Mark Wilson says that number needs to go up. We, we really need to do a lot to close that gap and candidly the Tallahassee Chamber is doing a great job. The way they're working to up that number through their career development platform Talent Hub and working with universities to keep talent local. Nobody's talking about this. Another roadblock facing Leon County, early childhood learning. Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce President Sue Dick says it's important for the future of our economy. Kindergarten readiness will directly have an impact on third grade reading scores, which will have an impact on what that student or child the future holds. In 2023, only 49% of children were ready for kindergarten, and only 52% in the third grade are reading at their grade level. That's why Gonzalez Lumier says his company and others are working with children through reading programs and other advocacy groups. A company like Ruvos is not going to get an immediate profit or revenue from investing in the children, but we know in five, 10 years, 15 years, that's important. That's why he is proud to be an entrepreneur in the capital region. A strong small business, as we heard from Mark Wilson, supports better education, quality of life, and really improves economic development.